you gotten any good results with mines? Because so far from what I've seen, the ship looks really bad. Um, I mean, I think I got like decent results with it, but that doesn't make the ship good. The ship is kind of, uh, meh. Play the mine yet? Of course. Of course. Well, let's see what we can do. Is being in a clan actually worth it if you don't give a shit about clan battles? Um, well, if you're in an active clan where people are playing, it's a good place to find teammates to play with, do scenarios, uh, division up with people, and if they're active and they're building up resources, Um, then you get discounts on on ships. Uh, you get a bit extra resources when you are doing ranked and stuff. So yeah, I guess it has its benefits. Nothing major, but why not? More steel and coal, plus ships are cheaper. Yeah. But if you're not going to be doing steel and coal ships at all, and you don't care about researching and purchasing because that's not a problem for you, then I don't, I don't know. And you're a solo player, then I guess not. Because anything that's team oriented is clearly not of your interest. La Rondelle. Well, do I really want to get shot by Yama, Misery, Kerfus, John Bard, and whatever the fuck is in front of them? No. Do I have a choice? No. Top range of mine, six. Oh, I actually hit that hit pretty immediately, that's nice. Oh, I love the fact they're not shooting at me. Yet. That's 11k gone. Quarter of my HP, bye bye. For a mere 6,000 damage and two fires that got instantly repaired. Thank you, 210. Stop repairing those fires so I can get some damage, huh?
This is pure fire damage. Uh, mines, tier 8 light cruiser. Premium German test ship. a heal this would be very much doable because over the entire course of the battle you could actually get a decent damage but without the heal if these guys just wanted to focus and shoot me i would die i would die within the next few minutes with maybe 50 60k damage at best which for a tier 8 ship is really shit yeah bottom tier but still shit Smack that Musashi for 40k, Jesus. I need to see my um my fire damage after this game. It feels like at least half, if not more, is pure just to fire. Because that is the only way I can do actually any damage. There we go. We got a kill. We and 66,000 damage. Alright. We're losing big time. Let's see what can change. No, no IFHE on this build. I tried IFHE, but the fire chances were pretty shit, and shells didn't seem to be doing that great anyway. So I just decided to get rid of IFHE and see if I can do more by simply setting people on fire. Now, 7 fires and 153 hits is certainly nothing spectacular. But if that's your only damage income, then better to have them than not. behind anymore yeah it's 150 millimeter guns I think they penetrate 37 millimeter of armor without IFHE so IFHE will help you penetrate those 40, 50 millimeter decks, not 60 though. But I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I tried it, it doesn't feel that great. I think uh, trying to set a fire here and there will definitely do you better. Oh shit.
What am I detected by? Is that one maybe? Oh shit, he actually fired one shell at me. I mean, one turret. Okay. Do you have any news from Wargaming about CV rework? They're happy with what they've done? They reached their objective with a rework? Yeah, for the most part, they're, they're done. I don't see them changing anything. Or if anything, I don't see them changing much about the series and AA. Huh? My cat, you have one bruise. Do you see my hands? I look like a dude that tried to cut himself to death. Yeah, I got bites and cuts. When we play, she goes crazy. It's one one thing I'm actually looking forward to when it comes to winter and long sleeves. She's not going to be murdering my hands anymore. What's up with Captain Jingles? When is it coming out? I think they said the next patch. On the Alaska Halloween skin, I got my own emote, which is awesome. Flamu has his emote as well, I believe. And Jingles is getting his captain. Makes it pretty funny because officially available for use, something of mine made it before Jingles, which is ridiculous. They've been, it's been, what, more than a year now? That he should have had his captain in the game. Oh, Smolensk shooting at me. Great. That's fantastic. Are we gonna lose this? Does Flamba see only comments from subs? No. I do have to focus on the gameplay as well, so. Doesn't matter if you're just a viewer, follower, subscriber, gifter, cheerer, donator, it really doesn't matter. I can see everybody's comments and I do try to respond to as many, but I do still have to play, you know. Yeah, I did hear that they, uh, that it's going to actually be misidentifying mm -hmm. ships. Keep up the good work, Ship Lambda classes, hug. at least. Thank you, Pysac. Will do, man. Thank you for four. Hey, we broke 100k. 14 minutes. 250 shells later. And this match, we've been focusing on nothing but HE. And we're dead with the next volley. But this guy won't make it too long either. Four versus two. Hmm. Soon gonna be three versus two. Dodge one volley. I think he instead repaired one of my fires, so it would be nice to get a flood and a fire on him. And there's the flooding. Have fun with that, mother trucker. Mm -hmm. Uh you too, DNK. You too, man.
I actually might live this. Woohoo! Overtime. Damn! Four versus one, two caps to one, and a hundred points advantage. We actually got this. One kill, one decap, 1.6 million potential, and 126,000 damage. Yeah, this thing can't really offer more than this unless you're gonna find yourself in a position where someone's going to YOLO you and you're gonna torpedo the crap out of them because of really, really awesome torpedo angles. And the fact that you have. Uh, sorry, 16 of them. Two times four. In other words, eight on each side. But six kilometer range. And no armor. Yeah, it's pretty much a YOLO that never works. Shoot someone else. Come on. I got one shot. I'm a one shot. Smolensk is always a one shot. And Lexington. Well, he would have to take one cap and kill two of us to maybe win. The AP on this ship is not bad, but you do need to have your targets broadsiding. Holy shit, can you fire? Shoot someone, please? Come on. There you go, that wasn't so hard. I will survive. Hey. Oh, no, 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 you're going down, boy. Okay, this is probably the best game in mines we had so far and we were bottom tier one kill one decap 144,000 damage we damaged one two three four five six different targets tier 10 battleship tier 9 battleship tier 9 battleship tier 10 battleship tier 8 cruiser and a tier 10 cruiser but these two barely touched them in the end we finished with 1.7 1.8 million potential and we were Fourth on the scoreboard, 150 base XP behind the first guy. I think this is as good as it gets with this cruiser. Dodging a lot of shells, never getting citadeled, and relying on some perma fires. How much damage did we do with fires? 57,000. 57,000. That's more than a third of my total damage. More than a third was down to perma fires. And I only scored 10 of them with almost 400 hits, so it doesn't have a really good fire chance, even with demo expert flags and no IFHE. Um, like, this ship is just meh at best. This could have been a lot better if, I don't know, some I somehow found myself in a situation where I would put 3, 4, 5 torpedoes into someone, maybe push, push it to 200k. But that situation just doesn't really seem to happen. If you are forced to YOLO, you just die. You lose all your HP before you can actually do that. Here's the captain, by the way. Um, I don't think... Yeah, they, they're gonna need to do something about this ship. It's just that these tier 6 guns are just too weak. Too weak. Even under ideal circumstances, they... They just don't do that good. They really don't. But, yeah. Mines.